Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Avasco, the Vasco on YouTube channel, and today I'm here to show you how to store and receive Zencash with their latest and greatest wallet, the Arisen wallet. So step one, you're gonna head over to uh, youtube.com slash Voscoin and subscribe. That's always step one. Step two, zencash.io or zensystem.io is gonna get you where you need to get. Simply click use Zen right here in the top right. It's gonna take you down here where you can buy or sell Zencash because you probably need Zencash first. Uh, personally, I'm gonna mine most of my Zencash and if you're wondering how to mine Zencash, just head over to the channel, put in Zencash. There's a video we have on what is Zencash, using the Swing Wallet or the Web Wallet. We have one on the Swing Wallet, using Bittrex, how to mine it, and so much more. So make sure to head over there if you have not already and why did I click that? So. Let's get to it. How to send, store, receive Zencash. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna to go to Mac or Windows or whatever you need. And it's gonna take you to the GitHub page. So this is gonna be on a Mac, but the process is gonna be absolutely the same for Windows or Mac. I've done it on both. If you have a Windows PC, which probably more people will have, you go to the Arizona setup.exe, download that and you'll be set. Personally, I'm grabbing the uh, DMG damage and installing on a Mac, but could not be easier once you click your download it's going to bring you here <laughs> really intense uh installation takes place you're going to drag and drop next step whether on windows or mac you're just going to go find that program probably end up on your desktop or if you go to your launch pad you can just click over to the actual wallet and here's where mac is always annoying this is not a recognized application or do you trust it yeah of course hopefully you always want to make sure that's a good point to bring up you always want to make sure you're on the Zencash official GitHub. This is the one you'll notice it by the activity and who's contributing. But Lucas is one of their main devs and the Arizon wallet is basically his baby. So this is the guy, Lucas Perez, is the one you want to see working on this wallet and you know you're in the right spot. So the next step, you're going to have to create a wallet. One of the biggest complaints on the Swing wallet for Zencash was there is no uh, login feature. So naturally, the Arizon wallet has that. So you want to go ahead and enter whatever username you'd like and then you're going to need to make a password that meets the requirements of what you have here. After you have the username and matching passwords that you want, you'll simply click create wallet. Once you click create, it'll bring you to this page and you can simply just put in your username and your password and then simply click login. Very nice, clean, simple layout here. So you'll see we don't have any addresses. Don't click get a new address, you don't need to do that yet. What this does, it automatically hides your zero balances. So we're gonna click show zero balance. Personally, what I like to do is to find a wallet with something interesting I like or is funny or weird in the actual wallet. Like right here, initially sticks out to me real fast, toe, and there's got a J. So like, is this toe jam and Earl? Are they reincarnated as a Zencash wallet? Do you even get that? So let's go ahead and load some Zencash into this wallet. There's a lot of different ways to do this. You can withdraw it from the exchange, send it over from your swing wallet and so forth. Very exciting news is that the Ledger support on Zencash Zen is completely done as far as I have heard. So they are waiting on Ledger to integrate it into their platform at this point. So we should see Ledger support very soon, which would be very exciting and offer you a new secure way to hold your Zencash. Until then, the Arizon wallet is probably gonna be your best bet. And even after that, this is a nice day-to-day -day wallet and when you wanna put some Zen really into cold storage off the grid, that's when you reach for a ledger. So first, I'm going to name this address, which is one of the coolest features in my opinion, a very basic feature, but so often overlooked. We're going to name our Zencash address. So this will be, please subscribe to Voscoin YouTube. And just like that, enter, it's done. And we click it right here. We can pull it up in the Zen Explorer, which we don't need to do right now because it's empty. But that's, again, that's also a nice feature to have there. You click this, it'll bring you to that page every time, as well as just simply clicking on it. To receive, we can either just go right here and copy the address. Next, we can click this, it'll bring you to the receive page and give you a QR code that you can send to people. Be like, dude, you owe me two Zen. You can save that QR code just like this, send it over to them, boom, boom, done. However, I'm gonna be sending this over from the Swing Wallet, so I am going to simply copy and paste this address and send it to my computer where the Swing Wallet is. So I just sent my Zencash from my Swing Wallet over to my Zencash toe address here in the Arizon Wallet. So let's see how long it takes to actually pop up. I'll go ahead and click refresh. Just like that, we actually get a cool notification there and then it's popped up. So it took about a minute to show up here 
all in all, pretty fast, pretty pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that to confirm so I can show you how to send Zencash. If you come over here and you click import private keys, you can import a private key file or you can export private keys, which if you click that, it's gonna give you this private keys.txt, which is gonna have all your private keys into it. So to keep it simple, you could simply take all of your private keys, you can export them from your Swing wallet and you're gonna get a txt file like that and you're just gonna bring it over here and import it into this and you will import all of your Zencash addresses. And if I could give you any piece of advice, it's not to store your Zencash on an exchange or anything else like that. Store it here in your computer, which is you're holding your keys, you hold your own money. Don't leave your money in someone else's wallet. It's just not worth it. Another very cool feature is that you can back up an encrypted wallet, you can back up an unencrypted wallet, and you can import encrypted and unencrypted wallets. The Arizona wallet answered a lot of concerns the community have as far as having a login to the wallet, having an encryption option, importing, exporting private keys. The Swing wallet did that, but the best part about the Arizona wallet is it works once you install it. So many people complain about having to download the blockchain for the Swing wallet, and it's kind of a resource hog. It's just the way it is. Blockchain is a pretty serious thing to download and for the program to run. Here, you're not doing that. Immediately, it's ready to go. You download and install the Arizona wallet, it's good. And that's exciting. And that's going to be good for wide scale adoption of Zencash and really every other crypto when they move to wallets like that. Another awesome feature of the Arizona wallet is the batch withdrawal. So with this, you'll be able to keep your 42 Zen you need for secure nodes and withdraw the extra that you'll receive in those payments, which is an exciting feature. And you know, we can put it together like this and withdraw, boom, done. So these are awesome features. This is the development. This is the project moving forward, which is so cool to see. And again, Lucas is doing such an awesome job with this project and I'm not sure uh, who else is working on it with them. So shout out to them too. I don't mean to leave uh, any of his uh, help out. If you'd like to add a new Zencash address here, say you want another one for whatever reason, you just simply click get new address and you put in a name if only if you want a name and you'll click create and boom it'll populate right in here all right so now the transaction is confirmed you'll get that notification up there and you can see we've got this green balance so i'm going to go ahead and hide our zero balances which is how you're going to want to keep your zencash wallet for the most part uh you know if you need to grab a new one show the zero pick one that you want but this is going to show you the wallets that actually really matter to you so as far as sending zencash well that's the other half of this tutorial so we can withdraw by simply clicking this and we're going to input whatever you know Zencash address we want. So if that was the address we wanted to do, we can do that and we can just go here and click one. So let's just double check. This is the amount of Zen we have. This is where our Zen is. Let's imagine this is a different Zen address. So, you know, just imagine that, right? <laughs> Simple enough. And then we want to send that person one Zen. It's going to tell us our transaction fee. We can adjust this, but the standard transaction fee is fine. So you can, in my opinion, I would just leave that there. So we're going to click withdraw, which is gonna be synonymous with send for us. Click withdraw, do you really wanna send this? Yeah, that's why I'm here. Thanks for double checking. It's been successfully sent. It's gonna give us the transaction ID, perfect. We can show the transaction in the Explorer. So what I can do is I can take this transaction ID and I can message it said, hey dude, I sent you the Zen. Here's the transaction ID. It should show up in your wallet pretty soon. And done. It's that simple. It's that easy to send Zen Cash, to receive Zen Cash, to store it. Uh, the Arizona wallet is absolutely perfect in all my testing. It has been perfect for me. This is a fresh install here on this computer, but I'm using it on my Windows computer. Haven't had an issue and uh, I didn't have any issues on my Mac computer either. So I think Zencash did an awesome job on this project. I would have no problem recommending this. I personally would not be using the Swing Wallet unless you want to use the private transaction features or the messaging platform, both which are very cool. But if you don't do that, then you have no need for it. Use this wallet. It's lighter, it's a little cleaner, it's simpler, and you don't have to uh, deal with the blockchain. All right, guys, hope you found this video helpful and informative. I'm excited to see Zencash bring out a wallet like this. I think it really filled a gap that they needed to uh, fill. And most crypto projects never really end up filling that gap. I mean, look at all the coins out there and how bad are some of their wallets. So with that said, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel right there. Come on, Voscoin, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. So fragile, like it was built to break off the handle. We get to this place
Something new Only time